The dark clouds hung low, like a heavy blanket blocking the sun. Rain pattered down, turning the streets into a network of shiny puddles. Ava, a college student, hurried through the market with her backpack slung over her shoulder. Suddenly, the rain came down harder, and Ava darted under a colorful display of umbrellas. Her eyes landed on a bright red umbrella, its shiny surface catching the dim light. It was perfect, but the price tag showed a hefty $10. Ava frowned, her student budget already stretched thin. That's a great pick, young lady, boomed a cheerful voice. It was the vendor, a friendly looking man with a big smile. How about seven dollars? It's your lucky day. Surprised by the offer, Ava agreed. Holding the red umbrella high, she felt a spark of hope. Maybe this would be a good day after all, she thought. Next stop, the bakery. Her little brother loved sweets, and the delicious smell of pastries drew Ava inside. She quickly left her new umbrella by the door and picked out three cupcakes already picturing his happy face. While Ava chatted with the cashier, a young woman walked out of the shop, carrying a box of treats. Stepping outside, Ava turned to leave, but her heart sank. The red umbrella was gone. In its place stood a plain black umbrella with a strange pattern of yellow ducks. Disappointment clouded her face, but as she reached for this replacement, a hand touched her shoulder. Excuse me, a young man's voice startled her. He was good looking, with a friendly smile. But Ava, Flustered and worried about the missing umbrella, brushed past him and hurried through the crowded street. He didn't give up, though, and followed her through the bustling crowd. Wait, he called out. Chloe, I'm so sorry I'm late. Ava spun around, anger flashing in her eyes. Who are you talking to? I'm not Chloe. The young man looked confused. But, the umbrella, he stammered, pointing at the black and yellow monstrosity. Isn't that hers? Understanding dawned on Ava. Oh, she exclaimed, realizing the mistaken identity. This isn't my umbrella. Mine was red, brand new. The young man introduced himself as Ethan, a law student. He explained he was supposed to meet his cousin's co-worker, Chloe, in a photo described her carrying an umbrella just like this one. Suddenly, a light bulb went off in Ava's head. Chloe must have taken mine by mistake, she exclaimed, picturing her stolen red umbrella. Anger bubbled within her. No worries, Ethan reassured her, checking his watch. It's too late to meet Chloe now anyway. How about we grab some coffee? Uncertain. Ava considered the offer. This day had taken an unexpected turn, but a warm cup of coffee sounded good. Okay, she agreed, but let's go to my aunt's cafe. As they walked and talked, 
a relaxed smile played on Ava's lips. Ethan was funny and easy to talk to. Suddenly, she realized it was getting late. Oh no, she exclaimed, I have an exam tomorrow, and I need to study. Good luck. Ethan said with a hopeful look in his eyes. Will I see you again? Yes, Ava replied, feeling a little nervous. That sounds nice. Walking home under the darkening sky, Ava spotted a tall woman with short dark hair. She was holding, oh no, it couldn't be. Ava's red umbrella. It was Chloe. Chloe's face turned bright red as she saw the black and yellow duck umbrella in Ava's hand. Don't worry, Ava said calmly, you can keep the red one. This one suits me just fine. It's lucky, you see. With a mischievous grin and a secret shared with the rain, Ava walked home, the tapping of the yellow ducks a happy tune against the sidewalk. <laughs>